He is known for being a Czech composer and academic teacher at the Prague Conservatory. He worked towards establishing a strong Czech identity and culture during the country's independence in 1918. His name is Vytaslav Augustin Rudolf Novak. In the world of classical music, there stands a legendary figure, Vytaslav Novak, a Czech composer who left an indelible mark on the field. Born in 1870, Novak was not only a composer but also an esteemed academic teacher at the Prague Conservatory. His musical style belonged to the neo-romantic tradition, and his compositions were hailed as significant examples of Czech modernism. Novak's profound influence on Czech culture cannot be understated. In a time when Czechoslovakia had just gained independence in 1918, Novak dedicated himself to cultivating a strong Czech identity through his music. His compositions, which encompassed operas and orchestral works, were a testament to his commitment to shaping the cultural landscape of his homeland. One of Novak's most renowned works was his opera called, Deirdre, a tragic tale based on an ancient Irish legend. This composition showcased Novak's ability to weave together rich melodies and emotive storytelling. Another remarkable creation was his orchestral work, Taman and the Wood Nymph, which drew inspiration from Czech folklore and displayed Novak's skill in capturing the essence of his nation's heritage. Vytaslav Novak's artistic contributions went beyond his musical compositions. As an academic teacher at the Prague Conservatory, he mentored and nurtured young talents, passing on his knowledge and passion for music to the next generation. Novak's dedication and love for his craft made a lasting impact on the field of classical music, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire musicians and music lovers alike to this day. Vytaslav Novak, a renowned composer, had a compositional career that spanned several decades. He began his journey in the late Romantic style, with influences from Schumann and Grieg evident in his early works. In the late 1890s, Novak delved into collecting and studying Moravian and Slovak folk music, incorporating their intervallic and rhythmic characteristics into his compositions. His second string quartet and sonata Eroica were among the first works to showcase this change in style. As Novak continued to evolve as a composer, he embraced the influence of French Impressionism. This is particularly evident in his song Cycle Melancholy and the tone poem O Vecni Tours. Simultaneously, he explored more monumental aspects in pieces like the Slovak-inspired tone poem V Tatrak and the song Cycle Udoli Noviho Krolovstvi. During this period, Novak also discovered the music of Strauss, which inspired his tone poem, Tomana Lesni Punno. However, it was in 1910 that Novak reached the pinnacle of his compositional career. Two significant achievements from that year stand out. The first is his five-movement tone poem for piano solo, Pan, showcasing his unique musical language. The second is Boer, a grandiose symphonic cantata that demonstrated Novak's growing interest in opera. Unfortunately, Novak's artistic exploration took a hit when he clashed with Nijedli, leading him to fear rejection and prioritize public opinion over artistic freedom. His orchestrated version of Pan and the subsequent cantata, Svetebni Kozel, received a negative response, causing Novak to doubt himself and fall into a state of depression. He attempted to recover by composing operas focused on Czech historical subjects, but the mixed reviews only intensified his bitterness and turned towards reactionism. In later years, Novak regained some respect from his colleagues with two ballet pantomimes, Signorina Gioventu and Nicotina. The layering of orchestral effects in these works impressed younger composers and partially restored Novak's reputation. Despite experiencing ups and downs, Novak continued to compose notable pieces such as Podzimni Symphony, an epic choral-slash-orchestral work, and patriotic symphonic poems like De Profundis, Svatovaklovsky Triptych, and Majova Symphony during the Nazi occupation. In his final years, Novak focused primarily on choral works based on South Bohemian folk songs. His contributions to Czech music leave behind a diverse body of work that reflects his journey as a composer, from late romantic influences to folk-inspired melodies and patriotic themes. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.